Hello dear children how are you all I hope you all are in the best of your health and studying science at home children today we are going to discuss chapter number 16 of class 7th science that is water a precious resource first of all let us see what we already know from where do we get water for our uses what will happen if there is no water why clothes dry faster in summer what will happen if there is no rainfall now dear children let us see what we are going to discuss in this chapter how much water is available forms of water ground water as an important source of water depletion of water table water management and effects of water scarcity on plants Dear children do you know every year 22nd March is celebrated as the World Water Day in order to attract the attention of everybody towards the importance of conserving water World Water Day is celebrated Now let us see how much water is available dear children our earth is a very beautiful planet and you are aware that 71% of earth's surface is covered with water almost all the water on the earth is contained in the seas and oceans rivers lakes ice caps as ground water and in the atmosphere human body also has approximately 71% of water of the total water present on the earth about 97.4% is in the seas and oceans the sea water is highly salty or saline and the saline water of seas and oceans is not fit for human consumption only 2.6% of the total water on the earth is fresh water most of the fresh water is in frozen state in the form of snow or ice on snow covered mountains glaciers and as polar ice caps only a small fraction of fresh water is readily available and present in rivers lakes ponds and partly as ground water a very little amount of water is present as vapors in atmosphere forms of water dear children water is present in three forms that are solid liquid and gas the solid form snow and ice is present as ice caps at the poles of the earth snow covered mountains and glaciers liquid water is present in oceans lakes rivers and even underground the gaseous form is the water vapor present in the air around us 
the continuous cycling of water amongst its three forms keeps the total amount of water on the earth constant now let us discuss about water cycle water cycle is a continuous cycle present between atmosphere and earth which maintains the total amount of water constant on land some processes involved in water cycle are written here and labeled by numbers match these numbers with the processes given in the jumbled form like this yes the first word is ground water second is evaporation third is condensation fourth clouds fifth transpiration sixth infiltration and seventh precipitation all these processes are included in water cycle now let us see what is ground water the rain water and the water from other sources such as rivers and ponds seeps through the soil and fills the empty spaces and cracks deep below the ground the process of seeping of water into the ground is called infiltration the ground water thus get recharged by this process at places the ground water is stored between the layers of hard rocks below the water table this is known as an aquifer water in the aquifer can be usually pumped out with the help of tube wells or hand pumps dear children now let us see what are the reasons of depletion of water table water drawn from under the ground gets replenished by seepage of water seepage of rain water also the water table does not get affected as long as we can draw as much water as is replenished by natural processes however water table may go down if the water is not sufficiently replenished this may happen due to many reasons like increase in population increasing industries and agricultural activities let us study these topics in detail first of all increasing population increasing population creates demand for construction of houses shops offices roads and pavements this decreases the open areas like parks and playgrounds this in turn decreases the seepage of rain water into ground this results in depletion of water table second reason is increasing industries as we all know water is used by all the industries almost everything that we use needs water somewhere in its production process 
द नंबर ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज इज इंक्रीजिंग कंटिन्यूसली वॉटर यूज बाय मोस्ट ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रीज इज ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड दे आर फोर ग्रोइंग इंडस्ट्रियल एक्टिविटीज आर ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर डिप्लीशन ऑफ वॉटर टेबल थर्ड रीजन इज एग्रीकल्चरल एक्टिविटीज A majority of farmers in India depend upon rain for irrigation. This may suffer from lack of water due to erratic rainfall. Therefore, some farmers have to use groundwater for irrigation. Population pressure on agricultural forces increasing use of groundwater day by day this results in depletion of groundwater so children these are some common reasons for depletion of water table so dear children now let us see how can we do water management to solve the problem of depletion of water table as we all know water is a precious natural resource so this is our responsibility to save it all of us knowingly or unknowingly waste water while brushing teeth shaving bathing washing and during many other activities we can use many methods to save water or for management of water and a very interesting and main method is rain water harvesting one way of increasing the availability of water to overcome its shortage is rain water harvesting the most important technique of rain water harvesting is to make rain water seep into the ground more efficiently by constructing percolation pits and recharge wells so as to recharge ground water this water can be pumped out in the times of water shortage we have at many places in india an old age practice of water storage and water recharge like the bavries bavri was the traditional way to collecting water in today's time farmers can also use water in fields economically the proper management of water in agricultural can be done by using drip irrigation technique drip irrigation is a technique of watering plants by making use of a system of narrow pipes or tubes with small holes which deliver water directly at the base of the plants thus drip irrigation minimizes the use of water in the irrigation and the wastage of water can be stopped dear children now let us see the effect of water scarcity on plants you must have seen potted plants wilting and ultimately drying up if they did not get water even for a few days plants need water to get nutrients from the soil to prepare their food just imagine the consequences if water is not available to plants the green character of the planet shall be lost 
दिस मे मीन द एंड ऑफ ऑल लाइफ फॉर अ वर्ल्ड विदाउट प्लांट्स शेल मीन नो फूड नो ऑक्सीजन नॉट इनफ रेन एंड इन्यूमरेबल अदर प्रॉब्लम्स सो डियर चिल्ड्रन लेट एस सी वॉट कैन वी डू टू मिनिमाइज वेस्टेज ऑफ वॉटर टर्न ऑफ टैप्स वाइल ब्रशिंग मॉप द फ्लोर इंस्टेड ऑफ वॉशिंग यूज बकेट एंड क्लोथ टू क्लीन योर कार इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग पाइप वेस्ट वॉटर फ्रॉम फिल्टर्स कैन बी यूज फॉर वॉशिंग क्लोथ और फॉर मॉपिंग टेक बाथ बाय फिलिंग वॉटर इन अ बकेट एंड नॉट डायरेक्टली अंदर द टैप और शार गेट लीकिंग टैप्स रिपेयर्ड इमीडिएटली The need of the hour is that every person should use water carefully wisely and economically and prevent its wastage any by these small small efforts we as an individual can play important role in minimizing the wastage of water so dear children now let us see what we have learned in this chapter water exists in three forms solid liquid and vapors the cycle of water between atmosphere and land is called water cycle rain water harvesting is an efficient way to replenish ground water the need of the hour is that every individual uses water economically dear children now i am going to ask some questions and i hope that you all know the answers fill ups farmers can use dash technique for irrigation which technique yes drip irrigation is the technique by which we can minimize wastage of water water is maintained by the water cycle is it true or false yes it is true about 70% of the earth surface is covered with water is it true or false yes we all know 71% of the earth surface is covered with water one main reason for depletion of water table is increasing in population is it true or false yes this is true and a very alarming situation for our country so here dear children we come to an end of this chapter i hope you all find the chapter interesting because this chapter helps us to understand that how we as an individual help to save water and ultimately the earth so you all keep practicing these things at your home stay safe stay healthy keep smiling good day